Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam, and I received a question today about torticollis and how it may affect children. So torticollis is a condition where our neck twists, we can get a neck spasm, and in children, this often occurs during the birth process. And it actually is considered a birth trauma. Now, some of the reasons why we might get torticollis at birth could be uh, coming out of the birth canal and doing so in a challenged way. And this could be uh, anything from breech birth to forceps delivery. Sometimes uh, torticollis will occur because there just is a challenge in the birth process. Now, this is a very strong imprint that affects the young newborn. <clears throat> and it actually can affect our visual system. A lot of times when there's a twisting in the neck, because of the connection of the neck muscles to the eye muscles, this can cause things like strabismus or amblyopia, crossed eyes or uncrossed eyes or lazy eye. And for most eye doctors, they don't make the connection between torticollis and our visual skills, our tracking, focusing, visual coordination skills that develop later on. So vision therapy is a form of physical therapy that can help release torticollis in the neck. Now, sometimes as you start doing vision therapy, it can trigger some of the emotions around the birth experience. This is a trauma. This is a shock. So there's a detox that goes on in the child when you start unwinding the eyes, neck, and body. I also support the release of torticollis through craniosacral therapy because in the cranial work, you're supporting the unwinding and the release of the muscles in the neck, which are going to indirectly affect the eyes. Now in the process, there can definitely be some side effects, things like headaches, uh, even things like bedwetting. This is related to the spinal gallant primitive reflex that sometimes gets triggered as you start releasing the torticollis. Things like focusing problems, behavioral issues. So if this starts to happen, you need to titrate the physical vision therapy you're doing, so you may do less of it. You may need to get more support in terms of craniosacral therapy, maybe some classical homeopathy. And the most important thing is try to reduce the stress in your child so he or she can go through the process of releasing. So that's the relationship between torticollis and vision. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Take care. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Please send your comments to me. I'd love to hear from you.